Miyako, we mentioned this before, but she's putting out her solo EP, which we got mm. the track list here. It's too late to get the signed version, but just wanted to make a reminder that this is coming out. And here's the song list again. It's like a lot of <clears throat> covers, right? Man, I'm looking. I want to hear that so bad. The battery. Oh, shit. Battery by Metallica, Far Beyond the Sun by Ingway Malmsteen, Halloween, Gary Moore, Deep Purple, Love Bites. There, she's Dude, covering she, her own song. <laughs> she likes Halloween, huh? That's covered. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, these are piano <laughs> piano covers, though. So oh, that's be... right. Oh, is it all piano? It, it's it like is, yeah. straight up piano. Oh, interesting. So Battery by Metallica, piano version. That yeah. is going to be something to behold. Yeah. Hearing her take on that and how, how it's going to be transformed would be very, very interesting. Yeah, I mean, that song is super fast, and there's, like, a ton of, like, it's, like, palm mutes. It's, like, mostly palm mutes, guitar palm mutes, right? It's, like, and, like, uh, to hear that done on guitar, it's, like, you got to do so many, like, actual notes rather than palm mutes. It's going to sound totally different. I can't yeah, wait to hear I mean, it's all based out of a chord structure, so I'm sure it'll be beautiful. Mm. Nice. Yeah, and that that makes sense that they would like Halloween because Love Bites definitely sure has... just fucking bashing on the piano like mad, just, <laughs> <laughs> just running it through Shit distortion. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty awesome too. She's got a looper pedal and she's playing the like the drums on the side of the piano. <laughs> can you put distortion on a piano? Sure. Yeah, you can mic it. You can put distortion on it. Well, that would sound so weird. I don't think I've ever heard that done before. Have you ever heard like sound a, like a clavinet? A what? A clavinet. It's like the, it's like a piano, but it's got short strings, and you can, it uses like guitar pickups, and you can run it through an amp. No, and it's I've got a whammy bar on it. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's cool as shit, dude. I've heard, a, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard a keytar. So I've heard like you know, like because that is they're playing like a piano notes or whatever, and that's usually um, that's usually got distortion oh, on yeah. it when yeah, they're playing it. Yeah, it's just a keyboard you wear. Oh, yeah, but that's, wanna... a, that's a keyboard. That's not like a grand piano, you know? Like, yeah. Just, yeah. Well, Clavinet's yeah. like full 88 key. If you want to see it, look up the band Crash Kings because they play heavy rock music, but mm -hmm. there's no guitarist. It's just he <clears> plays <throat> the clavinet, runs through distortion, and then they have bass and drums, and it's super heavy. It's cool. cool. I love the idea of breaking out of the, uh, the, the regular formula with the instruments. You know, that's like one of the things that makes – uh band Maiko is so cool to me you know because they come out and they play these yeah. hard rock songs but like with instruments that you wouldn't normally hear yeah it's got to be like full reimaginings like yeah like fully seriously it's on piano so like just imagine how much they have to be basically rewritten to capture the same feel and vibe but on something completely different Mm. Definitely. I can't wait to hear the bridge of that song because the bridge and battery to me is so cool. It's like one of my favorite Metallica bridges. So I can't wait to hear what she does with the uh, with the piano on that. Everything's going to sound so different. I and love the idea of this. She's covering Burn by Deep Purple. <laughs> like there's so, so much going on in that song, like on different <laughs> instruments. How the heck? Wave, apparently you uh, you reacted to the piano version of Addicted that she did with Osmi. Oh, OK. I no recollection? <laughs> I've heard so many new Love Bite songs lately, but only once. So, like, I'll have to go back to, like, watch my reaction to remember which song that was. But mm -hmm. I remember reacting to one of their... Uh, I, I I can't remember what the song was called, but where Miyako and Asami were singing just acoustically for, like, Asami's birthday or something. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't addicted, I don't think. It was something like... Dreaming. Rising, Ri rising, yes. Thank you, Undead Ninja. <laughs> but I'll have to go back and find my addicted one to remember that. So, it's, how did she sound vocally? Do you remember? Oh, really great! Like mm. it was my favorite performance I'd seen from her because it was not buried by any other instruments, and she was really living in the song. You know, like I could. Feel Are you talking it. about Asami or Miyako right now? Asami. Oh, okay. Was Miyako singing too? Because you said that they were both singing. Oh, no. It was Asami singing, Miyako playing piano. Maybe she did some Oh, harmonies, okay. But... Oh, I understand now. Yeah. Okay, that's cool, man. Yeah. I, I, I'm i guessing she's. there's not going to be any other tracks ex except for just like one piano track on this uh, album. I, I, I'm going to actually... 
while you guys are talking about the next thing, I'm going to pull up just whatever she already has out there. Just <clears throat> curious. Cool. Okay. So the one I That's reacted awesome. to was all piano. Yeah. Cool. So she already has that out there. That that's fun. All right. Well, I think that's it for Love Bites news on whatever year you're pulling up, Champ. Mm. Oh, I'm just uh, I'm just pulling up uh, what you were talking about right now. The one with Asami and Miyako doing Rising on the acoustic. Oh, yeah. Because I'm just because this is a live this is a live performance. So uh, I'm guessing that they she actually just recorded it. Um, they recorded it separately. Like it's not just going to be pulled from this live performance. Because I, I don't see anything else oh, yeah. outside of the live one. I would imagine everything on this EP will be its own yeah. new version. This is eight yeah. years ago. Cool. Yeah, that'd be uh, that's cool, man. That's something I'm really looking forward to now, actually, just because it's unique and different. And she's a world class pianist. I'm pretty sure she started playing <laughs> piano before she started playing guitar. When she was three, she started playing piano. Yeah, that's freaking. Oh, amazing. that explains a lot. She didn't start playing guitar until she was like fucking what, 20 or something. Uh, yeah. It's insane how good she is at both of them. Like, I've never yeah. seen someone be that good at two different instruments. You know? mm-hmm. When you've got the brain for it, you know, like when you've got a mind that is capable of doing something so great, like what she was able to do with the piano, I'm guessing that that aspect of your brain that most other people don't actually have. Uh, probably makes it easier to pick up every instrument. I bet if she picked up drums tomorrow, she'd probably be better than all of us in six months. You know? Oh yeah. She's actually plays drums. Oh, there you go. Of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, one video they showed them uh, playing in the studio, and it showed them all take, kind of taking turns on stuff. You could tell she when she's sitting at the drums, she's. Oh yeah, somebody, that was, somebody, in somebody the stand and deliver that, video. Yeah, and somebody comments like, "Yeah, she she can legit play drums." Yeah, yeah I, no, I, I watched a short of her playing drums. I mean, she wasn't that good, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she definitely plays. Well, uh, it's the one that she probably hasn't put any time into, you know? Really? Yeah, exactly. If she did, she'd probably be very, very good. I assume. I always just assume with like musical geniuses that they could do whatever the hell they want. Whatever they set their mind to, they're capable of pulling off, you know? Because right. I look at myself as a novice, as like an amateur, and it's like my brain is only capable of figuring out certain and things you know it's only capable of thinking about things in a certain way and not the way that would ever allow me to write something that i've heard her write before you know like even just like guitar solos so oh if you've God. got that part of your brain you could probably do anything with it yeah those guitar solos are so complex like i can't even it's impossible to dissect them in real time because they're so fast and so much going into them yeah it's insane i think they're the best i do I think uh, Love Bites, when it comes to playing solos, I think they come up with the most creative ways to use both guitarists and combine them, you know, and make them just sound the coolest and most technical and most intricate, as well as just sounding good. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're the top of that. I think part of that is because they're so classically inspired. Like, I feel Mm -hmm. like, like... When I compare them to Name of Fear or something, it feels like they're more like metal inspired, like what already exists in rock and metal. But like Love Bites takes it from cl- classical music, which there's so so much more diverse of a pool there mm-hmm. to get inspiration than just one genre of music, you know. Mm-hmm. Which um, I wish more bands would actually do that because I, I like that's why I'm a big fan of Flesh God Apocalypse because it's just you know they clearly have really strong classical roots, and even though their music is really really heavy and brutal and death metal it's it's also obviously um spawning from directly from classical music not necessarily metal that spawned from classical music but directly from classical music That's i cool. think more of that could exist too out there i think that like you know if bands did a little bit more of trying to you know because like classical me- music is mostly set up in modes right as opposed to what most pop or rock music is set up in and uh, I think it would be cool to see more music, more rock music and metal music kind of take the mode strategy and like bring us on a journey like classical music used to do. A lot of different changes, kind of slowly building, you know. So, uh, no rules. I, I, be cool to hear more of that. 
guys, thank you for watching. The Gaijin guys this year are really trying to up our game in the Japanese music news space. So we really rely on our Patreon supporters and our members over here on YouTube. So thank you so much. So if you guys can help, consider becoming a Patreon supporter or a member. And you also get exclusive group reactions from all of the guys. Stay awesome, everyone. See you in the next one. See you.